Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Lexar Blaze Portable Gaming SSD. This is supposed to be a very, very fast SSD. So we're gonna go ahead, unbox it, then we're gonna hook it up to my computer, run a benchmark test on it and see how fast it truly is. So let's jump into it and here we go. All right, here is the box. Let's take a look at some of the specs on here. So it says this is going to be a one terabyte drive. It says it has up to 2000 megabits a second or megabytes a second uh, read speeds and up to 1900 write. So uh, this should be very, very fast. Uh, just a little bit of branding on the side there, nothing on the top. No more branding there on the bottom, just a little uh, barcode for the serial number. And then on the back here, we have some information that says for additional information, go to lexar.com forward slash support. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, and get this thing opened up so that we can take a look at it. And there we go, let's, uh, let's cut through this. And there we go, let's see if we can, uh, see if we can get in here and Throw that off to the side, get this box opened up and see what we have and what this drive looks like. And ooh, look at that. Very, very fancy. I like that. It's so thin. I thought this thing was going to be a bit thicker and heavier because the box is actually kind of heavy. And I really was thinking this thing was going to be a, a kind of a chunker, but it's not. So. All right, I like this, so if you have a carabiner or something, you can attach this to whatever you need to. Um, that's nice. We have a USB-C port on the bottom there. Um, everything else is really just sort of like very plain and discreet. I like that, not plain, but sort of muted in a sense. So, all right. We have the quick start guide and the SSD drive. I mean, the, uh, uh, S, the, uh, the Lexar SSD quick start guide and warranty there. And then let's see what else we have underneath here. Um, this must be where all the weight is coming from. So let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can get in there. All right. Yeah, this is where all the weight's coming from. I don't know what's in here, but whatever it is, it's a little bit heavy. All right. Well, look at this. We get a little pouch right here to carry this in. That's kind of slick. Um, and yeah, so it looks like a little wallet and you're going to get everything that comes with it there. So you're going to get a, uh, let's see if we can get this thing to stay stay open here. So we're gonna get a USB-C to USB-C cable here, which is very nice. We are going to get a USB-A to USB-C cable if you need that. So if you have a computer or a uh, or a gaming device console or something that has USB-A uh, versus USB-C, you can go ahead and use this cable. Um, we're also going to get, um, I think this, I think this might be a mounting device here. So. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, um, it's a little stand. So you can put your, you can put your drive right in there and then you can stand it up. So that's pretty slick. Yeah, there you go. Put that right there, stand it up and you are good to go. I think this maybe slides in. Let's see if we get this thing. I think it may slide. Oh yeah, it slides right on in there. And then it just sort of locks into place. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this thing up now to my computer so that we can actually run some benchmark tests and see how fast this thing really is. All right, well, I have my MacBook open here and I have the drive hooked up. And one thing that's very cool is you can see there you have RGB lights that sort of light up as the disc is being used. So it's just kind of a fun thing if you have this over there plugged into your, uh, to your console or something to have that hooked up. So yeah, all right. Now let's hop into the uh, into the computer so we can take a look first to make sure we're getting the capacity that we're supposed to be getting and then we will run a benchmark test. All right, here is the drive open. And one thing I have to say I love about this is we're getting actually a little bit more than we're supposed to. The drive is supposed to be one terabyte. We're getting 1.02 terabytes in there, which is fantastic because sometimes when you get a new drive, it'll it's supposed to be one terabyte, two terabytes, four terabytes, whatever. And there's always just a little bit less capacity than what they say you're supposed to get. So I love the fact that Lexar is actually giving us a little bit more. All right, now here we have our benchmark test which is going to be the black uh, black magic design uh, disk speed test here and you can see here it's pretty much designed to work with uh, with different resolutions and frame rates and such so let's go ahead and uh, and click this so we can select our target drive 
and we are going to choose the Lexar drive right there. We'll click open and let's run this speed test and see how this thing goes. And it looks like for our write, we're getting about 865 write and we're getting about 920, 930. There we go, about 930 for read. So pretty fast. So we're getting, uh, we're not getting the speeds quite that they say on the box, but we're definitely getting fast, uh, you know, fast read and write speeds. These seem like sort of, uh, maybe like first generation SSD speeds versus second gen speeds. The second gen seem to be like around, you know, 2000, uh, around 2000 uh, read and maybe about 18, 1900 write. That's what it says on the box, but I'm not quite getting that here. But if you're using this for a, for a gaming console, this should be more than fast enough to keep up with whatever you're doing. All right, now just for comparison, so we can see how this drive uh, works is speed wise, I have my regular drive that I use for editing. This is a Crucial uh, X8, I believe it is. This is a two terabyte drive. Let's go ahead and plug this in right quick and let's hop into the computer right here and we will see, uh, let's go ahead and select the target drive so we can get this thing going. And there we go, we'll select that, we'll hit open and let's run the speed test and see what we get. And yeah, we can see that we're getting faster speeds with the Lexar drive than we are with this Crucial X8. So we're definitely getting faster speeds with this gaming SSD, this gaming portable SSD drive. So in fact, I would have to say, if you're editing, you might wanna roll with this as like an editing drive because you're definitely getting faster speeds than you are with the Crucial drive. So yeah, the Lexar, no joke. All right, everyone, well, that's a quick look and test of the Lexar Gaming Portable SSD drive. This is a one terabyte drive, and this thing is definitely fast. So if you are using this for its intended purpose, which is as a gaming drive, you will not at all be disappointed. You could also use this, say, as an editing drive if you're a video editor like I do, as I've edited my YouTube videos. You could use it as a photo drive. You could use it pretty much for anything you want because it is so fast, it is gonna suit pretty much every need that you could possibly imagine. So yeah, there you go. Anyways, I'm gonna leave links to it down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.